the Cellcast is recorded in front of a live streaming audience. Welcome to another episode of The Cellcast Reaction. Joining me today is a man who feels it's just a little bit better under the sea. Welcome, Jacob. Well, it's a little cooler down there anyway. That is very true. Until you get near the volcanic vents, but that's another matter. That is true. The, dark, the deeper you get, the darker it gets. Indeed. Why, thank you. Let me do, introduce our co-host. Uh, a man who... Uh, uh, just trying to get that singing voice to the to the proper pitch. Welcome, Drew. Look, I know I'm a tenor. I can't hit the really super high notes, okay? Okay. I'm more of a baritone than a tenor. So you get up it's too high, I, my voice is just going to start cracking. Or I may just start talking like this. Yeah, that might but not be good. And the unicorn will come out. Exactly. That's just all the trouble in the world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyway, t- uh, today we are reacting to another live action film. Yeah. But it's based on an animated movie, so it kind of fits. Anyway, <laughs> Disney's live action remake of The Little Mermaid. I really don't know how I feel about this movie existing. I am to some degree wish Disney would get away from the live action remakes. Because they've been hit or miss. Fair. And mostly miss. Mm-hmm. And like one meme I, uh, post I saw once said, I don't know why Disney is insisting on the these live action remakes when the Muppets are right there. Wouldn't you love to see a Muppet version of these movies? Indeed. It'd be hilarious. Unfortunately, that would probably mean Miss Piggy would be playing Ariel. No, no, she'd be Ursula. I don't know who... who, who that's, that'd be who your live action actor is, is Ariel. Yeah, exactly. Anyway... So yeah, Halle Berry, Bailey, Halle Bailey could Halle still be Bailey. in this. Yes. I keep wanting to call her Halle Berry. Wow. <laughs> because the name is so similar. It, it is. I, I agree. I agree. Anyway. Uh, I'm looking forward to this film. Uh, of course was, you are. You, you're a Little Mermaid fiend. I wouldn't say that. Because well, it sounds bad now that I've said it out loud. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm looking forward to it. My girlfriend is like, oh, my gosh, she's a bigger fan of Little Mermaid than I am, obviously. And uh, she's looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. And I've again, I've always enjoyed Little Mermaid when I was growing up. And no, no, nah, I'd be like, I don't have two clamshells of the movie in my in my, in my movie collection. Specifically the controversial one. Well, the first one, but it's not technically controversial. It's the first version they came out. The second one, you know what I mean by the controversial. Yes, I know. One. There, there is a alleged controversy behind the first one, but they didn't realize it for a couple of years, and everyone starts and be like, "Oh, it's this." And I've, I've, I've seen that one go for like a hundred and some dollars, and I picked that one up for like a buck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So either way, be like, I'm. It, I am looking forward to this film there again with the modern Disney remakes uh, from their animation to live action. Uh, they can be hit and miss. Uh-huh. I haven't seen all of them. I've seen a few of them. Um, and I'm interested where they're going to go with the story. Uh, I'm. I wish people would just go watch a film rather than be like critique the film from afar from watching like either a poster a screenshot or a trailer Mm -hmm. and going to watch the movie for itself and judging the film for what it is rather than what you think it is or insert biases or whatever's uh going to watch them for itself Mm -hmm. be like you know how uh, how the actress who plays the Little Mermaid in this film, how she portrays the character, and that's what I'm more down to. That's what I'm more uh, in game for. Mm-hmm. To see how character wise you know, is she Ariel? Does be like I've seen, I've heard her the the voice act, the voice actress, the the actress who is playing Ariel in this film. I've heard her sing. She sings very well, and I'm. Very looking forward to the film and seeing what direction they go with. Obviously, they're giving it more modern spin, and I hope they're deep digging deeper into the mythology of what they did with the film, mm-hmm. uh, at least with the uh, 
the uh, the background of the characters. They flesh that out a lot more. Uh, I know people are giving this movie crap like they normally do. Yeah, but people always do that sort that of is, nonsense. That is true. That is so true. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this film. Uh, I know there are plans in... I don't know if they're in the works, uh-huh. but to go watch this over the weekend, I'm not sure yet. But uh, we were recording this just to we're make a little sh- ahead of time. A, a little ahead of time. We're not sure how our schedule is going to line up, so exactly. it may be a week or two before we get back to this. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, this is yeah this Th- is this section we are literally recording the day we we're recording the Doctor Strange Love episode. Exactly. Give y'all an idea of uh, timelines. Uh, we'll mention how long it's been when we come back exactly but anyway yeah so yeah i'm like you said uh i do i do want them to go more into it because that's the entire point of an adaptation is to mm-hmm. go farther than you could have with the hour and a half movie that we had before because I, I haven't seen what the runtime is on this but mm-hmm. i'm assuming it's around two maybe two and a quarter hours no uh that. As always, I am worried about songs when it comes to one of these musicals because we all know my opinions on what they did to be prepared in the Lion King live action remake, which you didn't hear my air quotes there, but they were there. Uh, Two hours and 15 minutes. Okay. Two. That's about what I figured. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm I'm a little worried about what they might change with the songs because the songs are the are in some ways the heart and soul of any of these pieces. Yeah. And they've added songs too. Which also worries me. Yeah. But hopefully this is going to be more like um, Beauty and the Beast, where they are adding stuff that was from the the Ex- musical stage mm-hmm. musical. Yeah. And so a lot more thought has been gone into it. And they're not just doing stuff willy nilly. I like the idea of it being an adaptation of that musical. Yeah. Then we're making an entirely new f- film based on... Anyway, they're making it. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, but yeah, that's really my thoughts on it right now. Okay. So I guess uh, join us on the other side of the bumpers and we will talk about the movie. Exactly. This podcast is a proud member of Culture Box. Whether you enjoy geeky reviews, comedy, or original fiction, you can open up the Culture Box and find something excellent for your soul. Point your web browser to culturebox.media. So, Jacob, we are now back from (laughs) uh, watching the film about a week later because yes. it's been a week since we actually recorded the yes, last part of this. Uh, what are your spoiler free thoughts on this film? My spoiler free thoughts on this film. So to put context into perspective, because context is key. So I went to Oklahoma over last weekend or this previous weekend and uh, had a great time. My girlfriend, her mom, and myself went down there to or up there actually to visit some of her family. And while we were there, we wouldn't watch the film in broken arrow oklahoma and had a great time uh i enjoyed the film uh i can see more technical have where the technical problems with this film is i enjoyed it uh my, my girlfriend was like oh it's so pretty i really enjoyed it and uh, like i would say be like well this and this and this and this be like you're yeah, te- we have, you're, we're gonna you're, have opinions yeah we're gonna have opinions uh but i i enjoyed the film for what it was Mm-hmm. Uh, I enjoyed the the slight subtle changes and the expansion of the story and what was going on. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the film tremendously. I probably drew as a different opinion in mind, but I mean, like we'll figure that out as we go. Right. Go. All right. So yeah, that's mine. Uh, mine is a very pretty film. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of the songs are done very well in this context. Mm-hmm. Some of the new songs I have opinions about, but we'll get to that. Fair. Uh, it's not if if you're interested in watching it go watch it just turn us off right now go go watch the film you will enjoy yourself yeah it is i wouldn't say it's a worthy successor to the original movie right it's a nice adaptation yeah i'll say that probably one of the better adaptations that of these films that disney has put out agreed so before we go into our full spoiler filled since this is technically a remake or a readaptation mm-hmm. of another Disney film, which version of this movie do you prefer? Or which version of the story do you prefer? The original 1989 animated film 
or the 2023 live action adaptation. Ooh, that that's interesting because like there again, I have a fond uh, love for the original film. Mm-hmm. This one expands upon good things. This the lore is done with the two additional films, the TV series, what have you. Um, oh my gosh, I don't know. You put me in the spot, and just like I am, I am so. I would say the original. I would say the original. I love this version of the film, mm-hmm. but the the heart of the film for me. They're gonna be like it tells the exact same story, just told a little differently. And I, I'm 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 gonna have to go with the original. Have to go with the original. That's just where my preference goes. But I really enjoyed this movie. I'm probably gonna have to go with the original also. I I think it really is telling the story a bit better because it's a little bit more concise. Okay. Uh, that's not to say this does not do a good job of telling the telling the story. Exactly. It's just got, just enough issues yeah or just enough things that i'm not a fan of i should say okay that uh make me not want make me not like it as well as much as the original okay that's probably the most fair thing i can say okay so you're ready to jump in and start jump in and start yeah. spoiling this thing? let's spoil this thing the following is a spoiler filled reaction to the movie the little mermaid 2023 listener discretion is advised mm-hmm. I am not a fan of Lynn Man Miranda. Okay. Manuel fair. Miranda, however you say his name. Lin-Lin I have come Miranda. to a decision that this is the case. Okay. And the thing is, I'm not even sure he wrote the new songs for this. He wrote, I think he believed it he sounds did. like he did, because some he of this did. feels like I can almost feel the 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 Lynn Manuel Miranda isms. Yeah, it is. In the in, in the new songs. And the problem I have with it is. It would be okay, like for instance, in Encanto, it's not bad. Yeah, and they're not. I, I'm still not a big fan of it because it's not my my style. Right. But it feels like in it feel it makes sense there. Okay, here it's kind of clashes with the Howard Ashman original songs. Yeah, like a lot. <laughs> they are two different genres. Yeah, and. This would be all right if, like, when they were in the ocean, it was the classic stuff, and then when you're on this on the uh, on dry land, on dry land, it's mm. the new stuff, and that is kind of what they do, but also not. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's the thing is, I don't hate the film. Fair. It's a good film. In a, a vacuum, if the original movie did not exist, this film would be would be pretty decent, pretty good. I would mm. enjoy this a lot more. Yeah, I have some other opinions about later on in the film taken, you know, just just taking the film on its own merit and not trying to compare it to the original, even though it's very hard not to compare this film to the original. It is extremely hard. But um, I can tell you, music wise, the clash there, I feel like he should either try to have matched the original songs better in style or, and this is going to be heresy adapted the original songs to better fit his style instead of trying to do two separate styles. I, I would, I would now cut, granted. Yeah. I would prefer match the Howard Ashman all the way through. Yeah. And not everything has to sound R and B hip hop. Yeah. That he likes that Lynn Manuel Miranda does. Yeah. I, I would agree to an extent where be like, there, there's, there are parts of Lynn. Well, Lynn Manuel Miranda. Yeah. Lynn well, Miranda. Uh, I, I like some of his, like some of the rhymes a little bit. Uh, I would agree that oh, yeah, if he, he's good if, with the rhymes, he's good with the rhymes. Be like, it's just the music <laughs> be like the music. I don't have really a problem with, but if he would have stuck a little bit, if he would have homaged Howard Ashman a little bit more with mm-hmm. this and be like, there's parts of it. He mimics him very well. And then he goes his own style. Right. The music be like, that's just his style. And I get it. But it's like it it, do, it does clash. It does yeah, clash it does a little clash. bit. Now, now the performance of the original Howard Ashman songs, is yeah, because it is new performances, new singers, mm-hmm. new orchestration. Yeah, it's spot on. Yeah, agreed. It, it sounds exactly like the way it's supposed to, and they did not change one word. Yeah, agreed. Which I appreciate, especially since there is one that I'm surprised still made it through. Mm. Um, just because you know yeah. times change. Yeah, but um, 
and it, there is a, some slight changes here with like because I, I don't remember if ariel sang during uh under the sea in the original no she didn't i didn't think she did she did and so people having had her here felt over weird. that have, having her uh, join in here felt weird it did but at the same time it just it feels like something ariel will do yeah to me and if and this ariel is a slightly different ariel than the original slightly so i can kind of forgive so kudos for that jody benson does have a cameo in the film. yes oh my gosh <laughs> which i had to look up if that was her or not because yeah i couldn't tell you if i could spot jody benson <laughs> so so here was the thing so i'm sitting in the theater watching the film and you have uh uh hallie bailey bailey yeah hallie wa- bailey as as mermaid as ariel ariel walking through the scene and it's just like oh let me try this and it turns the camera and it's like oh my gosh <laughs> now, I, i'm the guy what, who's clapping you're like yes what threw me is i saw jenny benson and go you're not from the caribbean <laughs> You have never stepped foot in the Caribbean. <laughs> I can tell. Your skin is not tan enough. <laughs> and is not dried out enough from this sea, salty sea air. That is true. You but it was just a, walked out of, of wherever your home is. The, you walked out of your trailer. Just walked out of your trailer. You, you, you are, they did not make up you well enough for this yeah i would agree but it was it was a but very because they're just trying to say oh look it's jody benson it's yeah, the original I, little mermaid i think this was the first time they ever done that i think no I no, no. Uh, mulan you did have that's uh, right yeah yeah yeah. uh what's the, her name the, the original um, voice actor for, for, yeah uh, i cannot think of her name yeah which i'm sure um, that was just a sag she's a really good actress yeah i love her she's my she's one of my favorite asian actresses yes um anyway keep going melinda may nope that's who she played in <laughs> In Agents of Shield. Shield, that's not her actual name. <laughs> Ming Na Wen. Ming Na Wen. That's yes. her name. It's like, oh, she's the, she's that's the, right. that's she's right. the voice actress from uh, Final Fantasy: The Spirits Within. What is yeah. her freaking name? <laughs> <laughs> Ming Na Wen. Why can't I remember <laughs> Ming Na Wen? Because it's not a name I deal with on a regular basis. That's right. why. <laughs> right. But anyway, but, yeah, this this movie be like I, I loved where they they took a little bit of the like the the background lore of be like ursula actually being you know kin to um, right and i liked that i, I, I like how they mentioned the ariel, ariel's mother being a lot like her yeah i'm trying to hold off for for my big my big gripe with this film until okay. like the end okay and i just got dangerously close to starting off on okay it. okay i apologize okay no problem it's a minor gripe it, and it's just because of how you know forget it yeah i'm gonna go ahead and gripe go ahead gripe obviously as a live action adaptation and it is pulling from so much of this other lore yeah that i I may not know as well yeah granted uh it really felt like it because anytime you do a a re a remake of any yeah the question is why are you doing it what can you add to the story Mm -hmm. what are you doing that's making this version maybe not superior but different from the original and it really felt like meant multiple times throughout this film they were going to connect well the uh the mer people from under the sea and the land people as like being having a bigger connection okay like for instance they mentioned that prince eric is adopted yeah the uh mentioned that you know ariel's mother died died yes but they didn't actually say died they just said not with us yeah which was just obscure enough that within the rest of the context of what was going on i was making a connection is the adopted mother of Prince Eric Thank Ariel's you. mother? <laughs> that was my thought. I was waiting for it. As much as Ariel, the, the queen, was knowledgeable yeah. about the sea gods. Yeah. And everything. I was like, you know more than you're letting on. You fell in love with King Triton. <laughs> you made the... I, I was getting this whole idea. Oh, you make uh-huh. these characters far more three dimensional. Yeah, make because that's the thing about this particular version of uh, Triton is he's yeah. a little milk toast <laughs> compared to Kenneth Mar. Okay, his fair, performance. Fair. Kenneth Mars felt throughout the whole thing is I'm king of the sea and I'm being brought low by a little girl. Yeah, which was a, a great thing. Yeah, this line. I never felt the power behind Triton. No. So he was very milk toast. Yeah. Okay. Performance. That makes more sense. That's why I say that. And I'm thinking what well, he had to be brought low by somebody else before this. And now he's worried about losing his daughter, his youngest to daughter, the, youngest daughter to the same thing. He lost his wife to. to. Yeah. 
And it felt throughout the entire film they were leading to this big reveal. A big revelation. And I was going to be so happy that I caught this and was loving how they Thank were you. showing us. Over and, over and over, getting to this point, I was like, and the movie's over, and they didn't talk about it, and the mother really didn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sequel baiting? Yeah, because I was the, the exact same thing because they kept seeing me like, it's they like they went to so much trouble. Yeah, they did. So that she could be a princess of both kingdoms. Yeah. And he was a prince of the kingdom, but they could still marry because they weren't related by blood. Exactly. It would have worked. What are you people doing? <laughs> and like, yes, it's set up so perfectly. So I'm thinking the exact same thing. Be like, I, I, I've got a theory in my head. Because like, because they keep referencing. That it's like, oh, our mother, our mother's, our mother's dead. Be like, yes. you, you know what? Plus, you know what the humans did. None of Ariel's sisters look like her. Yeah, they're all different. Which made sense. It's like if that, she was born from somebody, another mother. Yeah, not other mother. That's a different movie all yeah, together mother, but they're yeah. born from a different mother than the rest of her sisters yeah it makes sense that maybe that would explain why she's got more of this african-american heritage why she looks more human than the rest of her sisters do yeah and grant it's because they were trying to match ariel to her look from the original thing while yes. still doing the new version of yeah not using shells for yeah. to cover <laughs> her yeah parts parts <laughs> you're welcome mother for me hiding that thing again <laughs> Because admittedly, yeah, the way they're showing it, it would make sense that she wouldn't have those parts. Yes. There. That... <laughs> I can hear not... it now. I can just hear I, it now. I'll just say they, this was they're more fish like than mam mammalian in this form. That's all I'm okay. saying. Okay, okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. it they're magic people. It yes. doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. And also, I also like the fact they brought in, at least at the very beginning, that quote from Hans Christian Andersen yes. from the original story. Yes. And they even say, oh, you found my little mermaid. It's like, yeah. oh, I wonder if that's more based on the version of the character shown in the original story. Hmm. And there's a part of me that was like, okay, yeah, we're telling this story that's based on the original, based on the Little Mermaid yeah. movie. Yeah. Are we bringing in elements from the original tale? Which is a part of they do. A part they of they do, do, but they also don't. Yeah. And so they, they, granted, they she really did look like she was in pain. Yeah. When they she did. was walking on the feet, which is how the little mermaid was, because she mm -hmm. her, her bone, she she could she could barely walk on her on, on her, her own feet. feet. Yeah. They showed that. It's like, oh, that's cool. And I'm sitting there going, wait a minute, I know how the original story ends. Yeah. She turns to foam. Yeah. Sea foam. And then are you going to turn her to sea foam in this film? So so she returns to the water and somehow. King Triton's gonna bring her sea foam back to life. Okay. Yeah. So here, here was my thought. Like throughout the entire third act of this film, I'm or thinking like level somehow bring the sea foam, turn the sea foam back into a girl. Yeah. <laughs> but what I'm, what I was thinking was, so watching this film and watching the third act, be like, okay, everything seems to be lost. And I'm thinking like, okay, they will reach back into the original story right. where where the uh, where the sisters will come to the surface and be like, hey. Be like the only way you can turn back into a mermaid is if you kill the prince. And obviously in the story she doesn't, but they didn't bring that in. I was like, that would have been so good. But they didn't. Well, I, I kind of fine with them doing the big Ursula kaiju fight. Oh yeah, that was great. That was fine. I, I have a the fight was good. Ursula was not in in the kaiju fight. Okay. Specifically. Yeah. That they didn't that CG. Yeah, for that's for for yeah, it was a, it was a bit the, off. There is no reason the CG should have looked that that bad. Yeah, agreed. It would it was been so easy to keep Melissa McCarthy mm -hmm. like have her act in front of like a blue screen or green screen or something. Yeah, and just have her move like slowly so get so that there's weight. Yeah, just like a suit actor would, and have her do the acting of the mm, yeah, and it would have looked good. Yeah. And just have the, the, the CG just be, you know, adding the little effects in here. And, there. Yeah. and yeah, maybe darken it because, you know, you're in the thing. And, of course, you get into the whole thing about the reason they shoot these things at dark is so that it looks better when there's bright flashing lights to show. Mm -hmm. And you do need the, the big tri uh, trident that she's mm -hmm. wielding at that point. Yeah. You do need it there. Of course, they don't have her crown glowing like in the movie. Yeah. The movie. Yeah. That should have been. And I was still sitting there going, 
you know, Ursula and Kingdom Hearts was a little more formidable in this last fight. I would Ursula, say S S Sora would have no trouble kicking this Ursula's butt, is all I'm saying. <laughs> oh my gosh. And Melissa McCarthy yeah. so says she does a decent job. Yeah, she does a good job. Most of the film. Except at the beginning. Okay, explain. Those first couple shots of her in her grotto. Yeah. She is not really playing Ursula there. She's kind of just being, I'm a fat, lazy person who's just annoyed at my brother. <laughs> it's like, I don't really, you feel, you look like you're being more lazy than conniving. You're yeah, not. I can, see, I can see that. Ursula is in the original. Yeah. Granted, first off, Melissa McCarthy does not hold a candle to Pat Carroll. Oh, agreed. Performance. Agreed. She, Melissa McCarthy is should have been playing this more as evil, snidely whiplash like evil. This should be more maniacal. It should be more, ooh, I'm being nasty and I'm and I'm loving being nasty. Yeah. And it, she never felt like she felt more like I'm going to stop my brother from be from uh, succeeding in everything mm -hmm. I'm doing and everything he's doing. And I, I really felt like in this version, I had no idea why she was trying to attack Triton until she finally says, you fool, I want, I wasn't wanting your daughter. I was wanting you. Yeah. It's like, that's not what you were showing throughout the rest of this film. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, great yeah. in her acting in like, say, uh, Poor Unfortunate Souls. Yeah. Not the best. In, the original Poor Unfortunate Souls is a better song and a yeah. better performance than that. Yeah. But she did a good job in that. Yeah. She did a good job throughout, uh, the, the stuff on land and everything I really felt like yeah mm -hmm. this is her plan but everything leading up to that it's like I'm not feeling this Ursula yet it okay took, it took until poor unfortunate souls when she really let loose into the evil maniacal Ursula ness okay I see that, that it really she really felt like she was in the character yeah but before that she, I, I've seen that version of Melissa McCarthy and in, in, in so many other films like I'm he, I, I'm I'm being a fat lazy person because I'm a fat. That's not what my comedic styling, yeah, is making fun of. I, I don't know if that's how she is in everything. It's just yeah. so many of the things I've seen it, seen her in, like yeah. uh, answer the call. Oh she's, gosh, yeah, she's not. It, it just felt. Like, it really felt like the camera coming to coming to me after she had eaten like a whole pizza. And was just not feeling like getting out and doing anything tonight. Okay. That's kind of what it felt okay, like. Okay, I, I totally get it. I totally I'm, get it. I'm not trying to, you know, trash on Melissa McCarthy. Her performances are always hit or miss. Yeah, agreed. It's just how she is. Yeah. Uh, I think for the most part, she did a good job. She was perfect casting for this if you can't get Pat Carroll. Yeah. Because uh, Pat Carroll's not... Didn't Pat Carroll pass? She passed away. She passed, yeah. So definitely she couldn't do it. Um, she did a good job for what it was. It just wasn't enough. That's fair. Uh, I like watching it. Be like is they they because the way they introduced Pat Carroll's uh, Ursula. Ursula, thank you. I, I wanted to call McCartney, but it's like no, this is not the Beatles. <laughs> uh, like her character of Ursula, be like you know very menacing and just kind of laughing, cackling. Yeah. Where would this one be like? It's kind of subdued a little bit, and be like, I do I do agree. Yeah, it's 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 just works. it kind of works, but at the same for the time way they're telling the story. Yeah. But I still felt it's like uh, you need to be more evil. Yeah, be like I, I agree with that, but I I do agree to be like be like she was menacing in a lot of ways, but then there was a little bit of like uh, okay, but it was it's like yeah, it, it's very hard not to pull from the original source yeah, yeah. and say it's like well this and this and this. It is hard. It's hard, and I'm trying not to. The only other gripe I have in terms of what I think the original movie did a lot better, yeah, is the fact that. Flotsam and Jetsam don't talk in this one. No, they don't. And I was like, oh, that's disappointing. They were the fun little... Uh, Sidekicks. Well, I was thinking toadies. Uh, <laughs> toadies. They talked for Ursula when Ursula wasn't there. Yeah. There was never a reason Yes, yeah, so Ursula film, talks so. for them in this film. Yeah, it's like... Eh, eh. Poor Ooh, Flotsam and Jetsam, you were some of my favorite characters. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Uh, so, kind of something I like about this film, I loved... Um, uh, Haley Bailey's performance. Haley, perform Bailey, yeah. Haley Bailey's performance. Bailey. Yeah, Haley, Haley, Haley Bailey. Haley yeah, Bailey. Haley Bailey. Bailey. I loved her performance as Ariel. Uh, definitely when she got into part of your world, and definitely the reprisal because oh, you. She, she sounded just like Jody Benson. Oh yeah. To the point where I had to go and look up. Did Jody Benson do the singing parts for this? No. 
Not because I doubted Haley Bailey, yeah. Bailey's um, abilities. Yeah, I've never heard Haley Bailey sing. Yeah, Haley ba- how you say it? I'm sorry, <laughs> Haley Bailey sing. Yes, but the fact is, her version of Part of Your World sounded almost exactly like Jody Benson in, in some in some ways. Be like, there was a little bit more of a twist in me. Like there how, was. I mean, how she sings. She's got but, a little more soul. Yeah, a little more soul singing. Yes, but she still sounded like. That 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 was it. Sounded like that could have been Jody Benson. Yeah, in some she, ways, she did such a good job matching the song. Yeah, you, I would have a hard time uh, putting the two performances together and being able to decide which one was which. Yeah. So the the part I loved about her performance in that is when you would get to the like the climax of the song and you would hear the 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 uh, the emotion and the yeah. depth in her performance. Definitely when she gets to uh, the reprisal of part of your world, yeah, and, and just like that that vibration, that 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 uh, that longing and desiring, you can feel that in her voice, right? And that was like I- I'm doing well, this and, number. And just she was able to hit done. those high notes. Oh my gosh! You can yes. tell she's a soprano who was singing low for those songs. Yeah, because I think Jody Benson's more of an alto, even then was. Yeah, she is. But uh, she, if you're gonna Amelia, siren song does need to be high pitched. So yeah, she did a good job of mimicking oh, that for those parts. Yeah. So speaking of siren song, I love that they brought in the siren song yeah. because it's not to be like, oh, just your voice. Be like, no, it's a siren song from the legends. Yeah. And I love that. I was like, oh my gosh. Because mermaids have legendarily, yeah. Well, mermaids traditionally are not very kind creatures. No, they they, they are one of two types of, of creatures called sirens. Specifically, these are the water ones. I was so hoping. Because I th- I thought at the very beginning I didn't realize we were in the Caribbean. I thought mm. we were up some like in the original film. Like I assumed we're up somewhere around uh, France, Daneland, as well as I was about to say Dan- wherever the Dan- Danish are from. Yeah, where are the Danish from? Yeah, uh, I feel terrible. Dutch, <laughs> Den- not Dutch. Uh, Denmark, Denmark. <laughs> I thought we were up like in Denmark. Yeah, because yeah, that's where the original film is. Basically, it's in, isn't it? it's in France. Actually. France, well, it's in France. It's a Danish story. That's my assumption. That's where yeah. my assumption was. Yeah, uh, I was. They were sh- doing that thing where they were trying to attack the the, the mermaid. mermaids they were seeing, and I so wanted one of that when that mermaid finally got close, not to be a dolphin. Yeah. I was expecting it to be a manatee. Oh yeah, because yeah. that's what yeah. the, the theory is that most sailors were seeing yeah. when they thought they were seeing mermaids. Yeah, they was saw actually manatees. seeing manatees. Yeah, you know the sea cow. Yeah, exactly. So I was expecting that to actually be what it was because I was yeah. st- at the very beginning. You have no way of knowing where they are. Yeah, You're not really because it's not till what a quarter of the way through the film yeah. when you actually see stuff going on. Yeah, on land you realize oh this so this is why everyone's so wildly mm-hmm. alert. It's in the Caribbean, yeah. there's been some uh, mixed race marrying going on yeah. around here, uh, which is fine. I get yeah, it. That's it's, good. It's, it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense for where we're at. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So, oh my gosh. Be like, there, there's, there are certain parts that in the movie I love. Uh, the, the, the song that got me the most, and I know people probably hate this film. I've heard it described I as... Hate song? Huh? Hate the song? You yeah. Hate the film. No, no, be like they're, they're be like or there's they hate a, the film because of the song, or they, they hate the song so much. Okay, I can understand hating okay. the song. Hating the song so much. I'm wondering if it's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, that I, I know one uh, one particular uh, uh, political reviewer political viewer uh, had described it as it's like it's like yeah, forget about Waterborne. Be like just play this song over and over again. We will talk as in Scuttlebutt. I was thinking I know what song this is. It's got to be Scuttlebutt. Because that song is, hey, the song is pointless. In a way. Because we already know that the scuttlebutt they're talking about yeah. is wrong. Exactly. We already know this. And I'm sorry, Aquafina. <laughs> you know, I like you in a lot of stuff. You yeah. did very good in uh, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Okay. Or is it yes. the Ten Rings? Yeah. Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings. Yes. The, Mar- the, the Ch- Shang-Chi film. You did a good job there. You did a good job in uh, Ryan the Last Dragon as Sisu. Mm. You did a good job there. Yes. And you did Sisu so well, you decided to copy her for uh, Scuttle. Scuttle? Yeah. You copied <laughs> Sisu for Scuttle, except played her stupider. 
That's scuttle, though. I know it's scuttle. <laughs> Play scuttle, not Sisu for scuttle. Sisu scuttle annoyed the crap out of me throughout this whole thing. <laughs> I don't have this problem with in the original. Okay. Because as goofy as he is, yes. he's his comedic relief does never gets annoying. Sisu Scuttle got annoying. <laughs> oh, I agree. And I'm sorry. That's what I'm calling because that's the entire <laughs> time I'm listening to Sisu Scuttle. Half the first time I heard it's like, oh, they picked a, a woman to play Scuttle. Oh, that, maybe I that can be rationalist. That's a non thing. I don't care about that. Scuttle was never a major character. Yeah, just he's not character. your flounder. He's not your Sebastian. Yeah, yeah. He shows up here and he shows up in one other song. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much all he ever does in it. This version of Scuttle shows up a little more. Yeah, but that's fine because they had they were trying to make it go two hours instead of an hour and a half. Yeah, fair enough. You bring Scuttle in more. Why is the and I'm like, I recognize this voice. I recognize this voice. Where do I recognize this uh-huh. voice from? A couple minutes later. Holy crap, that's Sisu. <laughs> that is Sisu. I didn't think about that. <laughs> and, that and the rest of the time, I'm thinking, are you going to tell me I need to bring a gift? You know, that, that Ariel needs to bring a gift to Prince Eric? <laughs> are you... The, you literally are Sisu, who's tr- who has, through their tr- transformation power has turned herself into Scuttle and forgot how to change back, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> That's what it felt like. Now, Aquafina, you're a great actress. You've done a good oh job. Gosh. You're not my. F- I, I don't know your your music that well because I know you are more of a pop star than you are an actress. I didn't know that. That's where she got popular from. I really think. okay. Didn't know I that. think I could be wrong. Okay. I've never heard her music, so I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. But play your character. Play- Why Sisu Scuttle? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is were, a good analogy. Oh, my were gosh. Were you in the recording booth for Sisu? And they said, hey, you want to be in the Little Mermaid movie? Sure, I would love to be in the Little Mermaid movie. All right, you're playing Scuttle. Oh, the Pelican? Yeah, the Pelican. I thought he was a guy. Well, now he's, you're playing him. Awesome. Okay, and I've had no time to practice. I'm just going to keep playing Sisu. <laughs> Except oh, my gosh. Scuttle. And then we're going to have her rap in Scuttlebutt. <laughs> I hate that song so oh my much. Gosh. It's the worst song in the film. I thought it would have been Prince Eric's song. <laughs> that was just Lin Man Miranda being Lin Man Manuel Miranda. Have you say the guy's name? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Hamilton. That's what I'm going to call you now because that's where you got popular. <laughs> no, that's just Lin Manuel Miranda yes. being himself. Scuttlebutt is. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm going to tell you. First off, could you hit notes, please, Aquafina? <laughs> I know that's just, I, I'm being mean. I'm sorry. I am being mean. It's just that song is annoying. I, I agree. It's supposed to be annoying. <laughs> it's supposed to be annoying. Why did you include it? Song should not be annoying. This is the song that would make me stop listening to the soundtrack <laughs> when it came on. Okay. So I, I'm going to say something that kind of contradicts what you, you just you said. like Scuttlebutt. I love Scuttlebutt. <laughs> Because I'll be like, I'll be like, just bopping his little tune. I'm like, what the world's going on? It's like, okay, so Scuttle's going to tell what's going on. And of course, it's It's Aquafina rapping it. Right. It's like, okay. I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. And I was like, okay, like, it's funny. It's, I'm I'm bopping along. It's okay. This is kind of (laughs) fun. I enjoyed it. Like, yeah, it was stupid and silly as can be, but I enjoyed Scuttlebutt. (laughs) It worked when Scuttle was doing it. Yeah. When Sebastian started rapping right along <laughs> with her, it's like, gosh. Sebastian, please stop. <laughs> like, what you the are a professional concert trained musician. Not in this film. <laughs> I don't give a flying, ra- <laughs> flying crab. <laughs> <laughs> we traded <laughs> La Poissons oh for God. Scuttlebutt. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Rene Abajanois is twirling in his bucket. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, he played Odo on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. He was a changeling and he slept in a bucket. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. And I like to point out, I said Le Poissons correctly. <laughs> I'm surprised I did. All right. So overall, be like, I, I, I mean, both this. songs are equally useless. Because <laughs> Le Poisson is, is useless in its film. Fair. But uh, overall, I enjoyed the film. Uh, yeah, I can see where a lot of were like some technical issues because you're dealing primarily with CGI. And uh, like some of the transition where the character's moving, be like kind of doesn't look right in some ways. Mm-hmm. And I, I see where people just want to bash this film because they just want to bash it. But I, I can understand that to some degree. Because going when you when you have a film like this, your gut reaction, at least mm-hmm. my gut reaction, yeah, which I had to fight back down to just go, just take it for the movie for what it is. Don't, exactly. Don't while you're watching it, don't keep going. Oh, the original did this better. That's mm-hmm. not the point. Yeah. Yeah. So the the thing is, like when like going to see your movie, be like it's 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 so easy to say, well the original did it better or the book did it better. Mm -hmm. The, the notion definitely for definitely for us is you go watch the film and you review always always review the film for what it is as a film, not simply will be like the comic was better or the last movie was better or the book was better. You know what? Maybe that's true. Yeah, it could be. That is true. It could be. And we're not saying it wasn't. We're saying take the movie on its own merits. Exactly. Decide don't, don't go into a movie hating it. Exactly. You Which I've seen a you, lot of people if do. If you that. go into you could go into the Princess Bride hating it. Yeah. And it would not do a thing to change your mind. Yeah, exactly. I think the Princess Bride is one of the most perfect movies ever made. I I've I could partially I ha- agree with I, you, yes. I can look at it and go, okay, yeah, here's some, some minor issues. I mean, it does. You can tell it was made on a shoestring budget, but agreed. It's still a great movie. Yeah, agreed. And granted, when I heard they made a coronavirus version at home, I was like, "No, I'm not watching that," because <laughs> there's no way that's going to be any good. Yeah. So that's not. I, admittedly, I'm just as much a hypocrite about yeah. it. Yeah. But you should go into every film as yeah. open-minded as you can exactly. be. Exactly. You're not going to be perfectly open-minded. Yeah. Because let's face it. I did not go into the Abrams versus Star Trek films with an open mind or as no. much as an open mind as I would like to. Right. I went into all those films going, there's no way this is going to be as good as the original. Yeah. And I just accepted that. And I went with it and said, let's just have fun. Yeah. Now, do I have some legitimate problems with all three of those films? Yeah. Do I have problems as a fan with those films? Mm. Yes. I actually would accept those three films better if they had not tried to connect it back with the rest of the universe i know that seems un, not, i know people pr- like the idea but honestly if i could have just accepted those films as reboots mm-hmm. full reboots clean reboots not trying to connect back to anything else much like the little mermaid live action i gotta mm-hmm. connect it back to our actual discussion yes. somehow yes is being made as this is completely different from the original mm-hmm. they're not meant to be the same universe i would actually have accepted it better this is supposed to be its own thing it works as its own thing in yes. a vacuum. I would have very little to any problems with the film. Yeah. I'm being that honest. Good. There are some things I don't like. Yeah. But there's always things you don't like about yeah, the film. Exactly. There's nothing here that makes me say this is a bad film and you shouldn't watch it. Yeah. There is nothing here that says that. Do I have some preferences that I wish were different? Sure. Yeah. We'll do. Leave Scuttlebutt out. That's a good preference right there. <laughs> You don't agree with me. Yeah, exactly. That's fair. I like scuttlebutt. <laughs> that is fair. We have different tastes. Yeah, exactly. That that's one's what... one's right and one's wrong, but that's neither here nor there. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> just go enjoy films, dude. Yeah, people. exactly. Just that's go... the entire point. That's part of the reason why we do this. It's yeah. our... it's the entire. I... There's very few podca- podcasts I listen to that I felt the people who were podcasting hated movies. I've listened to one. I've listened to some that felt like that. Yeah, but a lot of us like no, we just like this one kind, and we want them all to be. Everyone wants you just to go and enjoy your enjoy the films exactly. you enjoy. Exactly. Just, I'm sorry, I got off on a tangent and a rant. Don't don't we all enjoy your films, folks? Yeah, enjoy them. Just enjoy them what they are. Be like, hey, if you're not watching the film because be like you've got you know that you know X Y Z is a problem, that's you. Yeah, you get over it. Watch the film. Enjoy the film for what it is, and then base your opinion on. Not, and, not and if, reviews and, from other people. And if you saw a trailer of it and there's stuff that you can't get past just from the trailer, yeah, do yourself a favor. 
Don't watch the film. Exactly. Don't torture yourself with a film you know you're not going to like. Exactly. How hard is that? Internet? Meanwhile, back on our reaction to The Little Mermaid. <laughs> yes. I enjoyed the film. I enjoyed part. I enjoyed a lot of it. I be like, we obviously we disagree on Scuttlebutt, obviously, but uh, I enjoyed it. I know my girlfriend really enjoyed it. She's already watched it twice. I know that. Yeah. No, there was one character design I didn't like. Sebastian? Yeah. Okay. How he, did you tell I was going to I was going to say Sebastian? Because Sebastian doesn't look like Sebastian. He looks like a crab. Yeah, he looks like a crab. And I thought he was a lobster in the original for some reason. Yeah. No, he's a crab. Which is fair. Yeah. But he's the one that looks the most different. Yeah, agreed. And um, flounder looks different too. But flounder, flounder looks, just looks. Like, he looks like he a looks fish. like a, he looks like the type of fish he was supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. He's just and, not chubby anymore. Yeah, and then people like complained up and down. It's like, oh my gosh, scuttle is scuttle a, looks pretty much how I would have expected a bird to look like. Because yeah, this is meant to be a live. This is meant to look live action, folks. Yeah. So they're supposed to look like actual animals. Doesn't mean I like. Sebastian, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, uh, some people could play like, like, oh, also, because Atlantica could have looked more magical, yeah, than agreed. just a coral reef. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. I totally but agree with you. At least this way, you could have your suggestive <laughs> parapets. <laughs> that is true. And nobody <laughs> can say a word. Exactly, because they're natural. <laughs> I'm sorry. I looked at when they were going into quote unquote the castle. There are air quotes here because. Yeah. Yeah, it was obviously supposed to be the Atlantica Castle, but yeah, it didn't look very regal to me. Yeah, agree. <laughs> it's coral. Yeah, it, it's pretty, but it's not. It's just anyway. Yeah, but either they're or... going into that, and I'm going. Y'all knew what y'all were doing when y'all made this. <laughs> yep, they did. They did. But uh, overall, I enjoyed the film. I enjoyed this film tremendously. Uh, I'm hoping to go watch it again because I know probably my girlfriend's going to watch it again. But uh, I'm going to have no problem with that. Uh, so go go watch this movie for yourself. Have your own opinion about movies. Don't simply just go by what other people think or like maybe your political view or whatever. Or, you know, there's no politics in this. There's no politics. The craziest thing is, oh, Ariel's not a Caucasian redhead. Yeah, exactly. Eh? It yeah. makes sense in this context. Yeah, exactly. I, I now, again, again it, if it was still being up in the like the uh, uh in the English channel ish area yeah. of the original, I might have some problems there. Maybe. Because it and the, and they were looking like this. Okay. That's kind of a continuity issue, but also Maybe. kind of not. <laughs> but they're gonna I, I think uh someone would be like my girl uh, my girlfriend wonderfully said be like, how do we know what mermaids look like? Because we don't know what they look like. I agree with this. Yes. However, <laughs> I don't know. A part of me thinks, yeah, the underwater merfolk should be matching the the people the on the land skin tones on land, which is yeah. why I really don't have a problem here because yeah, she didn't stand out in either location. Exactly. She fit both locations. Yeah. Would she have fit in uh, that part of France at that time period? No. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Don't it would have looked weird. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Being honest, not trying to be political. That time period of France. Okay. Slavery was still a thing. Yeah. Agreed. She, they would have thought she, a, a, a white prince. I'm going to cut this out. I just realized, but okay. I'm going to get this off my chest. Okay. Cut it out. <laughs> a white prince marrying a half black girl. Yeah. Because she's not fully black. You can tell she's mulatto. Yeah. That would not have flown. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, she would have been at best have been uh, a con not concubine. That's an no. older term. Uh, what do they call it in the medieval era? Um, uh, oh crap! Oh, um, I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, um, there was a, a specific word for like, it. Uh, not a mistress, but a. Uh, uh, mm, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I agree. That's the best I, you could have pulled off. I, I I would agree. There was no way they would have allowed the crown prince to marry someone of that. That looked like that. Yeah, I can survive. I can make it work. Rationalize in the Caribbean. Yeah, but here I can't. Okay, that I need a that, way to play deedlet here right now. <laughs> that is that is fair. <laughs> okay, 
All right, got that off your I chest. Hope, I hope I can find that later. Okay. I'm going to be searching for it. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I find this, clip it out. <laughs> Somewhere around 43. All right, so uh, I enjoyed it. Again, I, I enjoyed this film. Be like, we have our own differences. That's what makes this show great because uh-huh. we can have differences about things and we can both walk away. It's like, hey, we disagree to agree or not. So, yeah. I guess that's probably it. Yeah, that's it. Go watch the film. Yeah, go the best we can say. Yeah, go watch the film for yourself and make your own opinion about it. Indeed. In the meantime, this has been Drew. This is Jacob. And we'll catch you in the next frame. You can follow Jacob on his Facebook at Jacob B. Heron. His Facebook page, Jacob's Daily Art Corner, where he tries to draw each and every day. His Instagram at Jacob B. Heron. His Twitter at Jacob Heron. And his letterbox to Jacob Heron. You can find Drew on Facebook at Drew Dodgen. His Facebook page, Drew's photo bin to see his photography. His letterboxed page at GGeorge759. His Twitter at GGeorge759. And Instagram at Drew Dodgen. You can like us on Facebook at The Cellcast Podcast. On Twitch at The Cellcast Gaming. On YouTube at Cellcast. On Twitter at Cast underscore Cell. The Cellcast can be found at Apple Podcasts. Google Play Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, or anywhere else fine podcasts are downloaded from. Please rate and review us where you found us and also on Podchaser. Email us at thecellcastpodcast at gmail.com. The Cellcast is a proud member of both the Pop Americana and Culture Box Media Networks. For more information, please see the link in the description. Our theme song is Drop and Roll by Silent Partner. And remember, that's Cell with a single L.